As we sail into April 2024, the market's giving us a bit of a roller coaster ride, pulling back slightly after a bullish start to the year. Today, we'll be discussing the three dividend stocks for April 2024, which I've invested in and believe are the best picks for the month. Yet, the S&P 500 and countless stocks are still flying high, hitting all-time peaks. Despite the market's lofty heights, there are companies out there that catch the eye of a savvy, value-minded, dividend growth investor like myself. In this video, I'm zeroing in on three such gems that I'm not just recommending. I'm backing them with my own cash as we close out March 2024. I'll walk you through exactly why these companies are earning a spot in my portfolio, aiming to be cornerstone holdings for years to come. We will review each stock with a thorough chart analysis and an in-depth financial examination. Additionally, we will conduct valuations using the DCF, DDM, and the Graham valuation method with my Google Sheet, which you can download from my Patreon page. All right, let's jump in. All Zero. right, let's dive into the world of O Realty Income Corporation affectionately known by its shareholders as the Monthly Dividend Company. It's a stock that turns the income faucet on with such consistency, you'd think it's afraid of drought. Looking at the chart, it seems like O has been on a mountain trek over the last year, and it wasn't all downhill skiing. We see a 14.07% descent in stock price, which might give some the jitters, but to the eagle-eyed dividend investor, this could spell opportunity. Is it a market overreaction, or is the stock telling us a story? That's the riddle we aim to solve. Now, Hold on to your calculators, because this is where it gets interesting. The forward dividend yield sits at a comfy 5.92%, a number that could make a bond blush. With a PFFO, price to funds from operations, of 12.36, it seems Mr. Market might be handing out a discount on a silver platter. The dividend rate is chugging along at $3.08, and with a market cap of a whopping $44.94 billion, this is no lightweight in the REIT division. Volume's looking healthy too. Over 6 million hands waving in the air trying to get a piece of O. But the big question lingers. Is Realty Income Corp. the solid bedrock your portfolio needs? Or is it a falling knife dressed in a dividend cloak? Stay tuned as we unravel the financials and put these numbers under the microscope to see if this stock deserves a crown or a frown. Remember, my fellow investors, always do your due diligence. And if you find my banter matches your investment vibe, consider joining the Dividend Dynamics crew by smashing that like button and subscribing. And hey, don't keep the wealth of knowledge to yourself. Share this video with a fellow investor or two. Let's get to the bottom of this dividend detective story together. Let's talk ratings, and not the kind you give your Uber driver, but the ones that could potentially drive your portfolio's performance. We're zooming in on the SA analyst ratings for O Realty Income Corporation. It looks like the analysts are giving a collective thumbs up, with an average rating shining bright at a robust 4.17 out of 5. That's leaning heavier on the buy side than a ship listing with treasure. Diving into the breakdown, we've got a team of 15 analytical minds who've weighed in over the past 30 days. Here's the score. Four are shouting strong buy from the rooftops, eight are giving a confident nod with a buy, and three are firmly on hold. The best part, not a single sell or walk the plank to be seen here, folks. Now, what does this mean for you, my fellow dividend enthusiasts? Well, if this were a pirate's map, the X marks a spot that's looking pretty darn inviting. But remember, analysts' ratings are like spices. They can give flavor to your investment decision, but too much trust in them and you might end up with indigestion. So, should we sail along with the analyst's bullish breeze? Or should we chart our own course? Hold on to your captain's hat because we're about to dive deeper into the financials and valuation methods to see if the numbers hold up to this shiny analyst sentiment. All right, dividend detectives. It's time to put on our magnifying glasses and scrutinize the dividend dossier for, oh, Realty Income Corporation. We're not just looking at the numbers. We're grading them like a strict substitute teacher. First up, dividend safety. O snags a C+. It's like that student who does just enough to keep the peace at the parent-teacher conference. The grade indicates they can keep the dividend checks coming, but there's room for improvement. Let's not get too comfy here. Now, for dividend growth, we've got a solid B. This is the steady eddy of the class, not the valedictorian, but the kind of consistency we like, showing attractiveness in its growth rate among peers. Moving on to dividend yield, O also scores a B. This isn't just attractive, it's prom king or queen levels of attractive compared to its peers. With a yield that could make your savings account weep, it's definitely worth a second glance. And the GPA booster, dividend consistency, comes in with a sparkling A+. This is the kid in class who's had perfect attendance since kindergarten. Realty income is that reliable student paying out consistent dividends that could make a clockwork jealous. Flipping the page to the dividend summary, we've got a forward dividend yield sitting pretty at 5.92% and an annual payout of $3.08. The payout ratio is at 
which is like a seatbelt. It's secure, but you don't want to test it too hard. The growth over five years is charting at 3.63%. It's not the rocket ship growth some might dream about, but in the world of dividends, it's the tortoise that often wins the race. And let's not breeze past this. 26 years of dividend growth. If this were a marriage, we'd be celebrating with silverware. The latest announcement shows a dividend of 26 cents with the ex-div date of March 28th, 2024. The payout date is set for April 15th, just in time to soften the blow of tax day with a monthly frequency that's more regular than your morning coffee. Now let's cast our gaze on the dividend growth chart for O, Realty Income Corporation. We're looking back over the past five years like a nostalgic investor reminiscing about the good old days of dividend hikes. Starting in 2019, it's like we're watching a skyscraper being built. Each year, the dividend has been stacking up higher, showing a clear upward trajectory. And for us dividend investors, that's a skyline we admire. Despite the economic roller coaster we've been riding, O has been handing out dividend raises like it's got a bottomless wallet. This isn't just growth, it's consistency and commitment that could even make a marathon runner pant. What's commendable here is not just the increase, but the message it sends. In a world as uncertain as trying to use a sundial at night, O has been as reliable as the sunrise when it comes to growing dividends. Fellow investors, it's time to don our financial goggles and dive into the sea of numbers with the discounted cash flow and dividend discount model for O, Realty Income Corporation. We're crunching numbers like a squirrel with a nutcracker. Look at these cash flows, growing steadily from 2013 all the way to 2021. Talk about a green thumb for growth. Our DCF analysis shows future free cash flow projections rising like dough in an investor's oven, up to a whopping 3, 82B in 2030. And the present value? Well, that's looking just as tasty, my friends. But we're not baking pies here. We're baking portfolios. Our DCF price per share calculates to a mere 23 cents, which might make you scratch your head. That's why we don't stop there. It's like checking the weather. Always good to get a second opinion. Cue the Dividend Discount Model, or DDM for short. This little gem of a model zooms in on the dividend payouts, assuming they're the rainbows leading to our pot of gold, with an average growth rate of dividends pegged at a respectable 2.81% and a WASI that's got more weight than my gym dumbbells at 7.29%, our DDM gives us an intrinsic value of $32.68 per share. Now, hold your horses. Before you call your broker, let's compare that with the current market price of $52.82. What's this? A minus 44.11% difference? That's a wider gap than my golf handicap. So, what do we have here? A tale of two valuations. On one hand, the cash flows are looking juicier than a ripe orange, but our valuation models might be suggesting we pump the brakes before biting into it. Remember, these models are just tools in our investment toolkit. Real value comes from understanding the full picture, so let's keep painting it together. Share your thoughts down below. Do these numbers change your view on O? As always, your likes and subs are the dividends that keep our channel growing. If you want to get your hands on these models and do some number crunching of your own, check out our Patreon for exclusive access to my valuation tools. Buckle up, finance fans! We're about to land our valuation spaceship into the orbit of Graham's valuation model and our very own valuation cockpit for O Realty Income Corporation. It's like NASA for numbers. Benjamin Graham, the Jedi master of value investing, left us a formula more precious than my grandma's secret cookie recipe. With an EPS of $1.26 and a stately growth rate of 22.62%, Graham's lightsaber cuts through the market noise to give us an intrinsic value of $20.46. But wait, the current price is at $52.82, which sets off a difference of 258.21%. Enough to make even the most stoic investor's heart skip a beat. The margin of safety? A whopping 65%. And for those of you new to the game, that's like having a financial safety net made by Spider-Man himself. Strong and reliable. Now, the cockpit view. This is where we get the eagle eye perspective on all our valuation methods combined. Think of it as mission control for your investment decisions. Graham's number crunching has set our acceptable buy price at $13.30. That's not just playing it safe. That's investing with a parachute, my friends. As we toggle between the DCF, DDM, and Graham's model, we're getting mixed signals like a confused GPS. One thing's for sure, the current price is higher than all our intrinsic values calculated. So, what do we make of this? Is O a diamond in the rough at its current price? Or is it more like cubic zirconia? Shiny, but not quite the real deal? That's for you and your portfolio strategy to decide. Remember, each model is a piece of the puzzle, not the whole picture. 
Combine them with your research, sprinkle in some market sentiment, and voila, you've got yourself a well-seasoned investment decision. Don't fly solo. Join our squadron of savvy investors on Patreon where you can download this valuation cockpit tool and steer your investments with confidence. Now, we're dishing out the details on a company that's as seasoned in the market as it is in the kitchen. McCormick & Company. Buckle up as we dive into the spicy world of MKC's stock performance and dividends. But wait, if you're hungry for more than just savory stock analysis, saunter over to my Patreon page. In just four seconds, I can tell you that's where you can grab our exclusive Google Sheet valuation tool. Don't miss out. All right, folks, let's feast our eyes on McCormick's stock chart. It's been a roller coaster of flavors over the past year. The stock has simmered down by 5.56%, giving investors a taste of volatility. But remember, in the stock kitchen, sometimes the slow cook yields the richest flavors. The pre-market spice is up, trading at $72.50, a zesty 3.66% increase. Will this be the prelude to a tasty uptrend or just a seasoning spike? Only time will tell. Now, let's zoom out to the market garden where McCormick grows its profits. The food industry is notoriously resilient. People gotta eat, right? However, this old sage has seen its share of thorns with supply chain issues and changing consumer tastes. Yet, with a market cap of $18.77 billion, MKC is no small potato. Diving into the dough, McCormick's EPS is a flavorful $2.83 with a forward PE of 24.68. This could mean investors are expecting some earnings spice to be added in future quarters. And for you dividend gourmands, MKC is serving up a forward dividend of $1.68 with a yield of 2.40%. A hearty portion of the profits indeed. Finally, let's whisk together our valuation recipe using the DCF, DDM, and the classic Graham valuation method. Our discounted cash flow analysis is simmering on the back burner, but it's the dividend discount model that has us salivating. MKC's consistent dividend payout is the yeast that could help your portfolio rise. And according to the Graham valuation method, which is the cherry on top, McCormick's intrinsic value spices things up. But it's important to consider if the current market price fully reflects the company's seasoning prowess. Peeling back the layers of Wall Street's latest ratings on McCormick & Company. Is it a flavor fad or a staple in your dividend pantry? Let's find out. Let's sift through the Wall Street ratings. The word on the street is hold. That's right, with an average analyst rating of 3.05, McCormick has been labeled as a hold. It's not the most exciting flavor in the cupboard, but sometimes stability is key to a well-balanced investment diet. Diving into the seasoning mix, 18 culinary stock connoisseurs, I mean analysts, have had their say in the last 90 days. It's a recipe with diverse ingredients, two strong buys, one buy, a dozen holds, two sells, and a pinch of strong sell. This pie chart looks like a pizza with more cheese than toppings, indicating that while some are nibbling, most are just keeping it warm in the oven. What does this mean for you, the investor who prefers dividends over drama? It's simple. McCormick is simmering on a slow burn. No need to preheat your investment oven to high risk just yet. The takeaway? While McCormick might not be the hot chili pepper of the stock market right now, it's more like the dependable garlic powder. Not overpowering, but a stable addition to your stock portfolio stew. And before we slice and dice into those numbers, remember to check out our Patreon for the secret sauce, our Google Sheet valuation tool. It's the gourmet choice for smart investors. Now, let's garnish our financial feast with Wall Street's taste test on MKC. The chefs over at Wall Street have been somewhat reserved, ladling out a hold rating with a taste profile of 3.05. The analyst breakdown has mixed spices with 12 holds, a couple of strong buys, and a dash of sell and strong sell. It seems like the sentiment is to let this dish simmer a bit longer. But what about the dividend dish? Here's where McCormick truly seasons the pot. With a dividend safety of B+, it's like that trusty cast iron skillet, reliable and ready to cook up payouts without burning them. The growth is rated A, showcasing a peppery performance against its peers. Now, the dividend yield might be graded a C, but let's not spill the soup just yet. It's about the full meal deal, my friends, and MKC has been setting the table for 37 years with growing dividends. That's a three-course meal of consistency right there. Peeking into the dividend pantry, we've got a forward yield of 2.40% and an annual payout of $1.68. The payout ratio is sitting at a comfortable 57.99%. Not too lean, not too fatty, just the right cut for stability. And let's not overlook the 8.35% five-year growth rate, showing that this company knows how to season their stocks over time. So, fellow investors, while McCormick's yield might not be the spiciest on the shelf, its history of dividend growth and consistency could be the flavor your portfolio needs to sizzle. 
McCormick has seasoned its latest earnings with a pinch more than expected. An EPS gap, actual of 81 cents, beating estimates by a spicy one cent. And they've stirred the pot with an EPS normalized actual of 85 cents, outdoing forecasts by six cents. Talk about adding extra flavor. Looking ahead, the EPS estimate for the upcoming quarter is simmering at 57 cents with revenue estimates boiling at $1.55 billion. The question is, will McCormick turn up the heat or let this simmer on low? We're back in Dividend Dynamics Financial Lab, where we're putting McCormick under the microscope. Can their stock valuation spice things up or will it leave a bland taste for investors? We've got the DCF and DDM ready, so let's crunch some numbers. Before we jump into the juicy details, a quick shout out to our Patreon. Grab our valuation tool there and let's cook up some serious investment strategies. First up, the discounted cash flow, DCF. Look at this chart. McCormick's free cash flow has been marinating nicely over the years with a bit of a dip in 2021, maybe a sign of letting the stock stew a little too long, but the future's looking zesty with an estimated growth rate of 6.91%. The main course? The DCF price per share is calculated at $7.33. Now, compare that with the current stock price, and it looks like the market might be overvaluing our flavorful friend here. But remember, the DCF is just one ingredient in our valuation gumbo. Now, let's slice into the dividend discount model, DDM. This is where McCormick's consistency in dividend payouts shines like a well-polished silver platter, with an average growth rate and a calculated intrinsic value of $53.80. The DDM suggests a different story. Our DDM analysis shows the stock is currently trading at a premium, around 18.61% above its intrinsic value. A little too rich for the market's blood, perhaps? So what's the takeaway from our DCF and DDM feast? Well, if you're looking for a bargain buy, McCormick might not be the catch of the day. But for those who value stability and a seasoned track record, MKC might still be a flavorful addition to your portfolio, especially for you dividend lovers out there. Salutations, value voyagers. Today on Dividend Dynamics, we're navigating through the foggy seas of stock valuation. We've got our compass set on McCormick and Company using none other than the Graham Valuation Model to chart the course. And remember, for the tools to map your financial journey, our Patreon is the treasure chest. Find our Google Sheet Valuation tool there and let's set sail. Let's hoist the sails with the Graham Valuation Model. With an EPS of $2.52 and a modest growth rate of 6.7%, Graham's formula docks us at an intrinsic value of $40.91. But Avast, the current price of $69.89, suggests that the market may be riding the high waves, overvaluing our seasoned sea dog, MKC. In the crow's nest of our valuation cockpit, we see the broader horizon. The DCF price per share anchors at $7.33 and the DDM estimates an intrinsic value of $53.80. But Graham Sterni gives us a margin of safety of 65% and an acceptable buy price of $26.59. So what treasure have we unearthed? By Graham's old chart, McCormick might be sailing in pricier waters than some investors would brave. But don't abandon ship just yet. Seasoned sailors know the value of patience and the right winds to catch a stock's true potential. Ring the bell for more financial discoveries and subscribe to sail with us regularly. Share this video with fellow buccaneers on your investment crew. Next stock is JP Morgan. JP Morgan Chase's stock price has been on a joyride, accelerating to a sweet 14.94% YTD. The big bank's engine is purring with an EPS forward of $15.95 and a valuation gearing up with a PE of 12.22. And for our dividend racers, JPM's got a hefty dividend rate of $4.60, cruising with a yield of 2.36%. Not the highest octane on the track, but it's the smooth ride and reliability that counts, right? Checking the financial dashboard, JPM's market cap is a heavyweight, $561.15 billion. With that kind of bulk, they're not just in the race, they're setting the pace. We've got JPM with a quant rating insisting on a hold at 3.46. That's not a call to storm the bank, but maybe to keep your vault closed for now. JPM's factor grades are like a mixed report card. Valuations sitting at a D, maybe signaling it's time for a little homework on market prices. Growth's at a C, which might not be the valedictorian, but it's definitely not falling behind. Now, cast your eyes on that dazzling A plus in profitability. JPM seems to be acing those financial exams, scoring high on the earnings front. And with momentum also looking robust at an A, it's like JP Morgan's been hitting the gym and is ready for the sprint. B plus in revisions? Seems like the analysts have been nudging their forecasts up a bit. Maybe there's more to this story than meets the eye. So what's the verdict? JP Morgan Chase isn't the wild child of your portfolio. 
It's more like the steady, reliable class rep. It may not be party time just yet, but with those strong profitability and momentum scores, it's definitely not detention either. Calling all dividend detectives, it's time to scrutinize JP Morgan Chase's dividend dossier on today's dividend dynamics. Is JPM a dividend dynamo or is the yield just a tease? Let's decrypt these dividends. Don't forget, for exclusive access to our financial toolkit, our Patreon page is where it's at. Grab your tools and let's get analytical. First off, JP Morgan is boasting an A-plus in dividend safety, which is like having a safety deposit box in the world of dividends. It suggests that your payouts are secure, locked down by the bank itself. But wait, the plot thickens with a CIA in dividend growth. It seems JPM's growth rate isn't exactly the bull market of the dividend world. More like a slow and steady tortoise, perhaps. Ah, the dividend yield is a D. Now, before you write off JPM as a dividend dud, remember, yield isn't everything. It's the combo of safety and growth that can really make your portfolio cash rich over time. And here's something to bank on. A forward yield of 2.36% and an annual payout of $4.60. Not too shabby, especially with a payout ratio of 25.28%, which is like having a nice cushion in your savings account. Bringing it home with dividend consistency scoring a B, JP Morgan might not be the flashy high yielder, but it's more like that reliable savings bond from grandma, consistent and comforting. All right, JP Morgan threw us a curveball, missing the earnings target. With an EPS gap, actual of $3.04, they missed by 32 cents. And that revenue? A $1.21 billion shortfall. Ouch, that's got a sting. But don't pull your investments out just yet. The upcoming quarter has analysts buzzing with a normalized EPS estimate of $4.18. Now, that's a rebound we'd like to bank on. And what about those EPS revisions? 17 up and 4 down in the last 90 days seems like there's some confidence cooking in the background. Will it be enough to tip the scales next quarter? So, is this earnings miss just JP Morgan hitting a speed bump on the financial highway, or is it time to pump the brakes? These numbers are a cocktail of caution and optimism, stirred, not shaken. If you're into cracking the earnings code, smash that like button, hit subscribe for more fiscal detective work, and spread the knowledge by sharing this video. We've got the DCF and DDM ready to decode. Let's get down to business. And just a quick note. If you want to get hands-on with data like this, our Patreon page is where you can access our valuation tool. Join us there and sharpen your investing skills. Let's tackle the discounted cash flow first. These numbers are a roller coaster: UPS, downs, and loop-de-loops. A startling average growth rate drop of minus 343.70%, with a DCF price per share deep in the red. That's like betting big on a high-stakes poker game and folding every hand. Switching gears to the dividend discount model, the growth rate here seems a bit more grounded at 5.00%, with an intrinsic value standing at $59.17. That's quite the gap from the current price tag, suggesting that JPM might be playing hardball in a market expecting a softer pitch. Putting both valuations side by side, it's like we've got a financial tale of two cities. The DCF is waving red flags, while the DDM offers a more moderate valuation, albeit still suggesting JPM's current market price might be on the pricier side. So, what's the take-home from this financial feast? JP Morgan's valuation story tells us caution might be the word, and every investor will need to decide if they're up for a game of high finance chess or looking for a safer bet. Down the Graham number, JP Morgan's intrinsic value rings in at a hefty $263.50, according to the Oracle of Omaha's formula, setting the acceptable buy price at a cool $171.28. That's a sizable margin of safety, 65% to be exact. Talk about financial flotation devices. Steering into the valuation cockpit, it's a sea of red with a DCF, suggesting we're in the minus by over 26,000 a share. Ahoy! That's a number that would have even the most seasoned sailors walking the plank. Now, if we hoist the main sail and catch the wind between Graham's trusty numbers and our valuation cockpit, we're seeing mixed signals on the horizon. It seems JP Morgan's stock might be a treasure chest at one glance and a siren's call at another. So what's the course of action? With Graham's methods showing promise, and the DCF steering us towards caution, your investing compass might just need a bit of calibration. As always, keep a weather eye on the market and navigate with knowledge. If you've enjoyed charting these financial waters, give us a like, hit that subscribe button for more navigational insights, and share this with your fellow market explorers. Let's chart the course to informed investing together. Don't sail away just yet. Click the next video for more analyses and insights from Dividend Dynamics. Let's keep this financial journey going.